Hello everyone, today I'm going to go over how to find all 30 of the top sculptures on Bitter Black Bottom. You can find all 30 in one trip through pre Damon. Any missed sculptures can be found post Damon. I'll have some extra details down in the description so you can skip to any that you think you may be missing. I will also have the sculptures divided by which entrance you need to go into to find them. The first two sculptures are found in the harbor area. To get the first one, you can go up the stairs to the second entrance a bit. From there, jump to the nearby pillar. From here, I usually use a staff to glide across to meet the platform above the water. The statue sits right on top. To reach the next one, I continue on this upper path until I am above the wrist dome. From here, you can see the sculpture sitting on a nearby pillar. You can jump over to get it. Now with all of us sitting right here at the entrance, it's easy to just change your location and use a staff, get the sculptures, then go back to whatever location you normally play. Okay, first entrance. Once you're inside, you can take the first door on the right. Here, you can climb a ladder or just jump across to the rafters to find the sculpture sitting on a rock. When you reach Dust Moon Tower, this is the room where you first meet Barrett. There are two sculptures in the area. For the first one, I climb up the rocks and head right after I reach the top. I follow this path until I'm above the entrance. Then I drop down to get the sculpture. After I'm back on ground level, I head to a fallen pillar that is below the initial entrance. Climbing the pillar takes you to the next sculpture. Rotunda of Dread is a room on the upper level of Dust Moon Tower right across from the main entrance. You can climb the rocks and go left after you reach the top. The sculpture is sitting on a rock near a chest in the back of this room. The Water of Regret is the next area. You will find the sculpture sitting on top of a platform on the left shortly after you entering this area. When you get to Midnight Helix, this is a room that usually has a gore cyclops. On the first level, there is a door that you can exit that leads to some red poison water. You will need to enter this water to find the sculpture. On the top level of Midnight Helix, you can find a sculpture in a cage. I usually glide to it, but you can also jump to the hanging body from the bridge and then jump to the cage as it swings. After returning to Dust Moon Tower, Vault of the Vile Truth should be accessible. You can once again climb up some rafters and you will find the next sculpture on one of the wooden planks. When you first reach Warrior's Respite, there is a sculpture right above the Healing Spring Fountain. You can jump up on the fountain to reach it. The next sculpture is in the sewer area, the gutter of misery. At the end of the sewer, you will see a hole in the bar that you can go through. You can then walk on some branches to reach the sculpture which is behind some bars. After defeating the evil eye in the Shrine of Futile Truth, you can find the sculpture laying on the floor. Upon exiting this boss room, you can climb rocks on the left for another sculpture. The next sculptures are found in the second entrance. The sculpture in the Fortress of Remembrance is a bit difficult to obtain. There are a few methods people use to get to it. 
some are location specific. For me, it is easier just to run fast to a succubus, grab it, and ride it up. This works for any location. Before going down the stairs here, you can head back to the door you passed and enter Pilgrim's Gauntlet. There are two sculptures here. Once you reach the big room, you can jump to the platform on the upper level to find the sculpture in a small alcove. If you don't use a staff, you can go up the slanted pillar and then jump to the balcony. On the bottom level, you can take a hallway on the north side of the room. At the end, you can climb up the rocks and reach a second sculpture. After heading back to the Fortress of Remembrance, at the end of the first lower bridge, you will find the Black Abbey. The sculpture is on the upper ledge. You just walk forward to the ledge and then look left. After exiting the abbey, you can continue down by jumping down the side of the building. At the bottom, you will find the sculpture on the top of some rocks nearby. Going through the door on the bottom level takes you to the Tower of Treason Repaid. On one of the middle levels, you will find a jail cell that has a chest and a pile of hay. The sculpture is inside the pile of hay. Just before you get to the Dark Bishop in the Forsaken Cathedral, after killing some poison and dead, you can spot a sculpture sitting on the floor near two chests. The following items are in the third entrance. Right before moving into the third area, you will find a sculpture sitting on the ledge to the left near a statue. When you enter the Rockwood Depository and head to the section on the left past the first room, after killing some Saurians and Phantasms, you will find the sculpture sitting on the bookshelf. Once you go down the first hallway in the Forgotten Hall, a sculpture can be found sitting on one of the railings where some spiders are. Inside Arisen's Refuge, a sculpture is hidden in the basement behind the bookshelf. Just break the boxes. In Bloodless Stockade, once you reach the stairs that go down to the sewers, there's a ledge above the stairs that has a sculpture. Before or after defeating the enemies in Spar Yard of Scant Mercy, the sculpture is found on top of the pillars on the east side. Two more sculptures are found in the Fallen City. The first is in a fountain. If you follow the stairs down into the city, you can turn right to find the fountain. The second is in a pile of hay. You would need to cross some rooftops and head west until you reach it. The last sculpture is in Damon's Sanctum. It is on the floor behind a pot right before the entrance to his room. And those are all 30 sculptures. Thanks for watching.